Our first stop is Afghanistan and we are making Kabuli Palau. Kabuli Palau is a savory and sweet rice dish that consists of carrots, nuts, raisins, you know, and you have a choice between lamb or beef. It was created by wealthier Afghan families who were able to use these beloved additions. However, it became more common as the years grew and more Afghans were able to afford it, thereby changing its name to Kabuli Palau. The word Kabil means well accomplished, so this makes it really exciting because I feel like this is gonna be challenging. And you know what? I'm up for a challenge, so let's get started because I'm ready to eat. So after prepping our garlic, saffron, carrots, onions, we are now getting ready to brown the lamb. So we're browning lamb in sesame oil um, for about 10 minutes. And we're gonna make sure that it gets really brown because you know, once it cooks down, you want that, you know, that seared flavor. You know what I mean? And so after we do that, then we remove the meat from the pan, okay? After we remove the meat from the pan, we then begin to saute the onions in the same oil. So you wanna make sure you fry those onions in that same oil, those bits. You wanna get it nice and brown. And you wanna fry it for about five minutes, okay? So um, get those um, onions nice and brown in there for about five minutes. And after you do that, you wanna then um, add the garlic as well. And so also, please make sure to subscribe and like and comment. I want to know your thoughts. And so you add the garlic and you want to fry these both together for about five minutes. So you want to fry them both together. You want to get that fragrance going. And so you fry together for about five minutes. And so after you finish um, frying it together for five minutes, you want to then add the tomato paste. Okay. Add the tomato paste, and you're also going to season it with turmeric, black pepper, cumin, and salt. All right. And so while we're waiting on that part, I do want to uh, mention that, you know, this was a really fun and exciting thing to do. You know, um, the, the level is this is definitely a labor of love and the level of love that they put to this dish, Kabuli Palau, is impeccable. I mean, I am just, listen, my children loved it. My husband loved it. This is a really, really good meal, all right? And so, yeah, you want to add the tomato paste. You want to get that going for about five minutes, all right? So get, don't be afraid of the brown bits. Trust me, it's going to be all worth it in the end. Then you want to add some freshly boiled water to the tomato paste mixture, right? And you want to give it a nice, good stir. Add a, and then add the meat back into the pan, right? And so once you put it on the pan, you want to let it simmer down for about um, an hour. Let it simmer down for an hour. Just let it cook down on low heat, right? And so after about an hour, you want to add half of that saffron water. So if you looked earlier, you saw that I had two cubes. So that now that the saffron is fully bloomed, you want to add that in. Next, in a separate pan, you want to fry some carrots in a small pan. I use butter, fry the carrots in the small pan for about a long, on low heat for like five minutes, right? Once you do that, you wanna sprinkle some sugar over them to, so it can caramelize and let that go for about 10 minutes. While that's going, you wanna get your rice going. Now, as you can see, this, I had already um, rinsed my rice off for a while. And so now after the carrots are done, you wanna add the raisins and let those fry for a few minutes as well. All right, and so let those fry. And then, now that that's done, it's time to add some oil, vegetable oil and water at the bottom of the pan, right? So you're gonna add vegetable oil and water at the bottom of the pan, and then you're going to dump some rice in. They like to layer it. I just did it twice because, you know, it wasn't that much. You know, usually it's a bit larger portions. Mine wasn't that large. So I added some pre-cooked rice. Now this rice was not all the way cooked. It let it boil for about three to four, like four minutes. Just so, and then so it can, it's gonna fully steam. And so this is the sauce. What, oh, also, make sure and um, get all the onions and garlic out of the sauce. You don't need them anymore. And so then you layer it with the sauce and you put the lamb um, chunks in there. Some carrots, oh, those carrots look so good. Don't worry about the oil, that's just some butter. And listen, you know, I'm from the United States, we do not have a problem with butter, <laughs> okay? And then you add some raisins in there. And then I just kind of mix it up because I was just curious like how it was gonna look. I was really excited. <laughs> and so then I just dumped the rest of the rice in there after I mixed it up because it was just so good. I, I was like, oh my goodness, this looks amazing. And the house smelled wonderfully. You just smell the spices from outside. And so 
You dump all the rice in there. Um, then after you do that, you layer it again, right? You put the sauce back on there. Yep, you put the sauce back on there. Yo, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it's really good. <laughs> put the sauce back on there. And then, of course, you uh, add the rest of the meat, all right? Put some carrot. Put the carrots in there. Yep, and the raisins. Put the carrots and the raisins. Um, and then you kind of just mix it up, right? And so once you mix it up, then you want to um, layer it with the remaining carrots and the raisins. So you give it a good old fashioned mix. See, look, oh, it's so cute. And then you top it off with the rest of the saffron water. So real quick, half of the saffron goes in that sauce and then the remaining goes on top of this rice once you mix everything up. Now you're gonna poke a few holes inside the rice. Make some holes in there, some good old holes, because we're about to steam this bad boy. So, you know, poke some holes inside the rice, okay? And so, once you do that, you now want to... Doesn't it look gorgeous? You want to layer... You want to put some foil over it, and you're going to steam it for 45 minutes. Yes, steam for 45 minutes. Guys, it was so good. My husband loved it. Look at his face. Look at his face. Watch this. It was so cute. But anyway, oh. Well, anyways, guys, definitely make sure to um, like and subscribe. We're going. We're heading to B. Can you guess 